Hello everybody, this is August the 29th of 2024. This is Tornado Nathan News by Nathan Hester. You're look, currently looking at the map from the rain amounts that were reported today from yesterday. Y'all can see a lot of the west is dry, some of the plains are dry, a lot of it down here in the southeast is dry, at least you live along this coastline down in here of, or above the Mason-Dixon line up here. Y'all got some rain off in here yesterday. Down here, we're dry. I ain't got but 0 0.11 inches in a whole month. And we was the only county around us just about it that wasn't underneath the fire ban. I called yesterday and uh, they having the meeting this morning and going to put that in effect this morning. So Prentice County will be underneath the burn ban today. I believe Lee County, Alcorn County, and Union County is underneath that burn band too in Mississippi. All right, we're going to move on now. We're going to go to my radar. Y'all currently looking at the my radar app. We're going to hit on all these little red dots right here. That's your magma under the surface moving up. Y'all can see it's all up through here, moving across. Look at Mississippi, Alabama. Y'all notice anything? Where it's starting to try to bunch up, where it's already hot? Look up through here. This one went right down to Black Belt Fault, went right up through the Carolinas, through Georgia. And we should be having some earthquakes form somewhere up through here pretty soon because all this pressure coming from down here up and around. Then you got all this coming up, down, and over. They should meet somewhere in here if, it, if this right here don't release and come up through here. And y'all see how some of them yellow. Like them right there. They're closer to surface. The darker, the deeper, the lighter, the closer to surface. All right, now that we hit on that, y'all see all these wildfires? Man, this is tearing them up out here out west. But this ain't good. Look at these wildfires right here while I'm showing y'all that magma is closer to the surface. Look at that. Sitting right on top of the magma chamber of the Yellowstone. Wildfires on, sitting on top of the magma chamber. Look at all these. Look at these wildfires. Look at this magma under the ground. Y'all can connect the dots all the way across. This is Canada here. I'm going to zoom out so y'all can get a real good look at this. Y'all see this? Sorry, the computer's a little slow. Y'all see all these wildfires? That's unreal. I've never seen it like this before. Except for this year. All right. Up here in Alaska, they getting them too. Alright, now I'm putting a go in here and we're going to turn these um, hot spots off. That way we can see more on the map. I turned the hot spots and wildfires off. Alright, let's start over here. Let's hit this right here. Y'all got a heat warning? Out in here, anywhere in this orange right here, you're in a heat warning today. Down here in Mississippi where I'm at, we don't need the heat warning and believe me, it's already hot, hot, hot out there. Sure is. So, and then we're already dry, and we got that hot heat, so I would watch it. I wouldn't stay out there in it too long if I was outside working or something, drink plenty of fluid, y'all. Take you a break if you have to. Um, I wouldn't advise getting extremely hot and jumping in the air conditioner, but put you a, a fan or something on your porch or in your yard or wherever you need it or shop or wherever you may be. I got a big old fan I keep on my front porch when I'm sitting out there. I get hot, I turn it on me, I turn it on for the dogs. All right. Heat advisories up through here. Heat warnings. This right here, this light is heat advisory. See if they got any more advisories. 
I don't see no more of them, so we'll go ahead and get them turned off too. I ain't gonna be able to turn them off. My bad. Alright, let's go to this earthquake right here. Magnitude 2.03. 7.7 kilometer deep, 8 kilometers south of Sparta, North Carolina. That's because that mountain ridge runs right up through here, y'all, them mountains. It's, it's, that magma fills them holes, and then it has to pop. It has to do something. It builds up in a certain spot. That's when it releases. Coming over here. This was sure enough getting down with it yesterday off in this area. I do not like this. I think in the future Oklahoma is going to have a bigger earthquake. At least a 5 plus. We got this 3.1 25 kilometer deep right here. We got a 2.5, 3.3, and a 3.9 right here in West Texas. Coming up here, this is an oddball right here. We don't hardly see any up here. It's a 2.5, 6 kilometers southeast of Hill City, Kansas. 4.9 kilometer deep. Coming over here in the Yellowstone, we got a 2.7, 4.5 kilometer deep. And over here we got a 2.85, 25.4 kilometer deep. Alright, now, y'all remember me telling y'all before about the stretch from Reno that goes back down towards Las Vegas? Y'all can see it real good now, but except now it's starting all the way back over here. Redding, California, and England to the southeast, all the way back down here towards Las Vegas. I'm afraid that's going to be a rupture zone one day, y'all. I really am. I'm afraid that's going to rupture. Going to have some fault start opening up up in there. Southern California. Y'all still locked and loaded. A lot of micro trimmers. Y'all expect some shaking out there. I don't know what else to tell y'all, but it's not a good thing out there. I wouldn't live there, but I'm not telling you what to do. You live where you want to live. Coming on up in here in Alaska, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, and 2.7. North Alaska up here, 2.7. And y'all, this is just a big old magma chamber to come through here. That's where them wildfires have been going to, coming in into Canada. Right here, 2.7, zero kilometer deep. So this is a 2.7 surface earthquake. This is 0, 0.00 level sea level. So this is a ground earthquake on top of the ground, surface earthquake, 2.7, 0 kilometer deep, not looking good. Let's go to Hawaii now. Alright, it's starting to pick up down in here in the ocean, up in here. I would watch the hill lay a slump right here, though, because we're getting some coming down through it. But the main one today over here is going to be this one right here. 3.0, negative 1.3 kilometers above sea level. So this thing is showing that it's in the ocean. Right? But... It's negative 1.3 kilometers above sea level. The best I can understand that is it must be a sea mount underneath here where that thing hit at. All right, we're going back out. Y'all see that tropical system right here coming up through here, that tropical depression. Also, so y'all going to get a lot of winds and rain and stuff off of that right there. And this one already done moved by. So y'all keep an eye on that for heavy waves. Alright, let's hit these earthquakes real quick. Down here, they call this Fiji Island the 5.2. 494 kilometer deep. 4.3, 520 kilometer deep. 
and a 4.5542 kilometer deep. And y'all don't, I don't know what that round circle right there is. I ain't been able to figure that out, but it's completely round. Don't know what it is. Well, what happened here? All right. We're coming over here around Davo City in the Philippines, 4.935 kilometer a day. The earthquakes is actually settling down a little bit, y'all. Coming over here around Afghanistan, 5.4, 224 kilometer deep. 5.1, 39.5. Now, looks like it started down here and went up through here and cut through here and went over. So I'd expect it to hit somewhere, the next one to hit somewhere right in here. Y'all see the distance between this one and this one? Somewhere between about that same distance this way is where it's going to hit most likely. Alright, now that we got all them covered... I'm going to turn some stuff off the map real quick. That way we can get on with the program. Turn the earthquakes off. Let's see. Hurricanes can go off. Alright. Let's zoom out here. In this white looking area, your general thunderstorm. This green right here is a marble. This yellow right here is a slight risk. So that's basically y'all chances for today as far as weather. The most worst part is going to be up through here and maybe over through Wisconsin. And especially right down through here this evening into Chicago. Southern and Wisconsin area, y'all going to get... It's going to get pretty wild in there when all this moisture right here starts moving across there. But anyways, I want to show y'all that. We got this system down here that might keep throwing up a few showers. These are all power outages right here. A lot of power outages up here in Michigan, y'all. Look at that. That's a lot of counties with power outages. Well, I wanted to share that with y'all today. Once again, this is the Tornado Nathan News. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment on my channel to help me grow. I really, really need to grow more and more each day, y'all. I need some more subscribers if I can get them, and more likes and shares. I need them all. So if y'all want to help me, that's how you can help me. I do not take donations. This is a non-profit channel. You deserve free and honest news, and that's what I bring to you out of heart and hobby. Y'all have a blessed day, and we'll talk again soon.